Hey guys, the DVD update here for another DVD update. I'm not sure what DVD update number this is going to be because I have three, three or four already um, recorded on an external hard drive though, and my friend is borrowing. Anybody's right wondering now. about the Shriek Show ones, or because um, I still have a ton more of those to show. That also was on the hard drive, so I can't do any editing or anything on that until I get that back from my friend. So yeah. First thing I want to mention though is over 800 subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing, rating, and commenting. It's fucking awesome that I got over 800 now. So, seems like just a little bit ago, I was saying, hey, cool, check it out, 700 subscribers. Now I'm 800. That's fucking awesome. Um, so without further ado, let's let's get part. This is the HD part. Actually, I have Blu-rays here. I also have HD DVDs, and I'll tell you why I have HD DVDs in a minute. All of a sudden, why I'm getting HD DVDs, crazy, huh? But but I have the uh, here I have the Watchmen uh, exclusive um, Best of Buy Rorschach head. Looking awesome there. Rorschach head. It's a uh, it's got a two disc digital copy special edition. You probably you've seen this probably already. I've seen other people do it. I got this the day it came out, so this has been a long time coming. But uh, yeah, it's just the Rorschach head here in the back. Flips down for the two disc. What is it? Uh, disc one is the director's cut. Disc two is the special features and digital copy. So cool on that. Love Watchmen. Saw in theaters. <clears throat> I had read the graphic novel long before. Uh, you know, I'm not one of those that just read the or uh, read the graphic novel after the book or read the graphic novel after the movie. I had known about it before, and it was actually one of my favorite graphic novels. So anyway, along the same lines, I got uh, the Watchmen uh, Best Buy exclusive, once again, uh, Blu-ray, two-disc Blu-ray, which comes in the Dr. Manhattan head, which glows in the dark, which is awesome. I believe HMV had these exclusives over in the UK. So let's pop it out. This is, this is an interesting little uh, interesting thing here. So much stuff. So yeah, Dr. Manhattan head, he glows in the dark. Just like the Rorschach head in the back, it flips down for two disc Blu ray. Um, haven't watched this yet. I saw it twice in theaters. Once with my mom and my brother, and the second time with my dad and my brother. My dad loved this movie, which is awesome. He liked it so much that he bought the soundtrack for it. He doesn't he, he doesn't buy CDs that much, so that was kinda cool. But uh, anyway, so uh, disc one is the director's cut. Disc 2 is the special features. And check this out, for some reason I got two digital copies. I know, I just like those heads so much that, you know, I decided to get on standard definition and uh, Blu-ray high def. So yeah, plus, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the Blu-ray was $39.99 for the two disc limited edition, Best Buy exclusive, blah, blah, blah. The standard def is, was only $32.99, so not that much difference. Next up at Target, I picked up the um, the Dark Knight Blu-ray two disc uh, Batman head edition, kind of like those. Um, it kind of sucks because I saw this one and I saw the Iron Man head for uh, on Blu-ray at, at Target because these were Target exclusives, and they were both uh, $29.99. I was like, you know what? I don't have enough money for both of these, so I'm just gonna pick up the Batman Dark Knight one, uh, which I already have over here over here on a uh, single Blu-ray as well as Iron Man so I was like you know I'll just get the Dark Knight head or the Batman head I should say and um, that was a mistake because I would say a week or so later I went back so I was like alright fuck it I'm gonna get the Iron Man head sold out every target I went to sold out and guess what they have like like every target I went to had like three of these I was like what the fuck I should have got the uh, Iron Man one and then the Batman one later but you know what can you do what can you do? Uh, at Target as well, they had a buy one, get one free. So I got uh, Pineapple Express on Blu-ray. Love this movie. I saw it in the theaters. <clears throat> and for my free one, I got Hancock or whatever. I don't know. Pineapple Express could be free. Uh, you can only select from a few other ones. And the only other interesting was Paul Blart, Mall Cop, and Hancock. So I just went ahead with Hancock, uh, which wasn't that bad. Um, 
so thirty dollars for both of those, which isn't bad for two Blu-rays. Uh, next up on sale at um, at Best Buy for twelve dollars, I think. Um, the Blu-ray for American History X, great movie. Edward Norton, um, Edward Furlong, highly recommended uh, movie. And MacTube showed this off as well. Good stuff. Now I got HD DVDs. Why do I have HD DVDs all of a sudden, like two years after HD DVD died or whatever? I don't know how long it was. Um, well, because recently I bought a Blu-ray burner uh, where I can burn Blu-rays. And um, along with that came the ability to play HD DVDs. So I was like, all right, that's, I don't really need that, but that's cool. And also I was live scribing all that other shit, cool shit, but it burns Blu-rays, which is what I, which is awesome. Although Blu-ray R prices are fucking crazy at like $5 a piece. But anyway, uh, they had $2 uh, HD DVDs. So I was like, fuck it, I just got HD DVD for $2, plus shipping, of course, but, um, uh, I don't know if you can see that. An American Werewolf in London. This is an HD DVD and a DVD combo. Um, unfortunately, they're double-sided when most of the time when that happens. Let me pop it open. Double-sided, as you can see there. Uh, but the cool thing about this is it was $2, so I get the HD ver I got the HD version on one side, and on the other side... I have the standard de um, definition DVD. Um, I have a American Werewolf in Paris over there behind me somewhere. Um, so yeah, very cool. I haven't watched any of these yet though, but uh, I haven't seen this one either. So making it comes with the making of a were uh, American Werewolf in London, uh, an original featurette, a feature commentary with the cast members, uh, makeup artist Rick Baker on talking about the movie, an interview with John Landis casting. Um, casting of the hand, outtakes, storyboards, and a photograph montage. So that's the HD DVD of American Werewolf in London. <clears throat> Next up is Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Another good one. Um, this is also an HD DVD and a DVD. Uh, it features hilarious documentary reliving our Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Totally cool hangouts of Ridgemont High, a video map, production notes, and theatrical trailer. Next up, this one isn't a combo, it's just a regular HDV, and it's of a movie called Four, Blo Four Brothers, which was actually a really good movie. Um, underrated, I don't hear that many people talk about it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It has Mark Wahlberg in it, Tyrese Gibson, Andre Benjamin, and um, Garrett Hendland. So, check that out for sure. We're starting to fall. Next up is an HD DVD uh, and a DVD combo of The Kingdom, which is actually a, a very cool... Uh, I actually like this one as well. I saw this one in the theaters with my mom. It has Jamie Foxx in it, Jennifer Garner, and Chris Cooper. <clears throat> then I got uh, Face Off, the uh, two-disc special edition um, face of Face Off. Of course, everyone knows Face Off with um, Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. I like this movie as well. My mom's never seen it, so we'll have to check that out. But it's the two-disc collector's edition. It comes with a commentary by John Woo and, a, and the writers. Seven deleted scenes, including, including an alternate ending with optional commentary in HD. The Light in the Dark, making of Face Off in HD. John Woo, A Life in the Pictures in HD. The original theatrical trailer in HD. So that's Face Off two-disc. <clears throat> check it out. I got uh, Dead Silence. I don't know. The lighting in here is kind of sucky, so... You might not be able to see these covers too well because they're all foil and shiny. But this is the HD DV and a DVD combo of Dead Silence from the directors and writers of Saw. And this is unrated. A couple updates back, I have I got this movie for three dollars at Big Lots or three dollars cheap off eBay or something like that. But it wasn't the unrated version because I didn't know there was an unrated. Next version. up, another good movie here on HD DVD, and it's Children of Men with uh, Clive Owen, uh, Michael Caine, and Julianne Moore. Very cool, so check it out. This is actually a regular DVD and an HD DVD combo again. Uh, Black Snake Moan, saw this in theaters. Let me just say, Christina Ricci, yes. Um, but of course, it's from the director of Hustle and Flow, and it has uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Christina Ricci, and Justin Timberlake, who didn't do a bad job acting in that at all. <clears throat> Next up is a movie I haven't seen yet or heard about. My mom said she didn't like it, and she saw it, but it's an HD DVD of... Um, a Mighty Heart it has Angelina Jolie in it. Um, I don't know, some other people. But, uh, I don't know, it doesn't seem like my kind of movie, but it was a dollar. So, I picked it up anyways. 
Next up is the HD DVD and DVD combo of Army of Darkness. Very cool. Can't wait to check this one out. Check that out the HD of it. But um, cool enough anyway. The Army of Darkness. I got the uh, poster right up there. You can't see it. I might show you in a minute. But uh, then next up, com complete with slipcase, is Transformers 1 on uh, HD. It's got um, two disc with a bunch of cool special features. I know it's also out on Blu-ray, but this was $2, so I just went ahead and got the HD of it. And by the way, Coconut Bottle is awesome. Glass bottle, I should say. Anyway, that was the HD DVD section of this update. Stay tuned for much more to come.